um, systems of linear equations into variables. Okay? So, I will graph this equation using Desmos. We have x plus 2y is equal to negative 4. No, negative 4. Negative 4. So this is my first graph. This is the first equation, and the graph is this black line. Now I'm going to have another equation, and I'm going to graph that on the same Cartesian plane. For have 2x minus y is equal to 7. Okay, so the red line here, the red line is simply the graph of our second equation. Okay, this time, what have you noticed over the graph? What have you noticed over the two lines? Describe the two lines. Section, uh, section Garnet, are you still there? Okay. Describe the two lines. Do you see what I'm sharing right now? Okay. No. Describe the two lines. The two lines, what? They are intersect. Okay. The two lines are intersecting lines. So take note of the graph description. The lines are intersecting. Now, let us focus over the point of intersection. What are the coordinates of this point? Who can give me the coordinates of this point? What is the value of x? This is 1, 2. So meaning, the value of x is 2. What about the value of y? Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So this is negative 3. So take note, the point of intersection, this 2, negative 3, is what you call the solution. Okay? Again, the point of intersection is simply the solution of your system. Now, this is my question. How many points of intersection do we have? How many points of intersection do we have? Section Garnet, how many points of intersection do we have? Kapila ni intersect ang line. Kapila. Kapila. Kausa. Na adilaing point din ang nag-intersect ang duha ka line. Nag-intersect na sila kausa. So they intersect at only one point. So meaning the point of intersection is the solution. So this is my question now. How many solutions do we have? Okay, only one solution. Okay? Only one solution. And take note, this is what you call a consistent independent system. This is the kind, the first 
kind of system that you need to familiarize. Okay, let's go over the consistent independent system. And a consistent independent system has only one solution and the graph is simply intersecting lines. Is that clear? Okay, next. Let's have another one. This time, let's go back to our Desmos. And I'm going to have, I'm going to be having another set of equations here. Let's have 3x plus 2y is equal to negative 6. That's our first line, and the graph is the blue line there, okay? Our first equation has a graph, this blue line here. Let's have our second equation. The second equation is 3x plus 2y, that is equal to negative 12. Okay, section Garnet, describe the lines being formed. Describe the lines being formed. What kind of lines is being formed here? It starts with the letter P. You call them parallel lines. Okay? Now, this is now my question. Parallel lines lines now take note going back here intersecting okay now uh do parallel lines intersect do we have an intersecting point there there is there a point of intersection in our graph no so meaning is there a solution or no solution exists No solution at all. Why? Because there is no point of intersection. The common point is the solution. Since there is no common point, therefore, there is no solution for this. And this is what you call an inconsistent, independent system. Independent system. So take note, this is now our second kind of system. An inconsistent independent system. Some books use only inconsistent. Because right away, if when you say inconsistent, automatically it's independent. So take note, when I say inconsistent system, the graph will be parallel lines and there is no solution at all. Next, let's go back to our Desmos application again. This time, let's plot another set of equations here. I'm going to be having x minus 3y that is equal to 3. And our second equation will be 2x minus 6y, that is equal to 6. This is our first graph. This is our first equation. This is our second equation. What have you noticed now? What have you noticed now? They are the same line. So how do you describe the graph now? You call them coincident or some books use the word coinciding lines. Okay? So take note, when the, they are of the same line, they share the same points, they are 
coincident or coinciding lines. Now, this is my question. How many solutions are there? They share. Take note, huh? They share the same line. No, no, no. They share the same line. This one is a point on the first line and a point on the second line. This one is also a point on the first line and a point on the second line. The same with this. Kini, kini. Kining mga points din ha na intersecting, I mean, infinitely pa jud na siya extend Extends infinitely in both sides. So meaning, infinitely many solutions. So take note, when they have the same line or they are coinciding or coincident lines, the number of solutions is infinitely many. And this is what you call a consistent dependent system. Okay? So let's go back. The first kind of system is what you call a consistent independent system. And the graph is simply intersecting lines. Next, it has only one solution. And the solution there is simply the point of intersection. This point here, this one. This is the solution. And the coordinates are, for this example, 2, negative 3. That's our first kind of system. The second kind of system is what you call an inconsistent, independent system. And the graph shows parallel lines. And there exists no solution since there are no common points. Okay? Next, the third kind of system is what you call the consistent dependent system. And take note, they share the same line. And you call them coincident or coinciding lines. And it has infinitely many solutions. Okay, let's summarize everything now. If you're given intersecting lines, how many solutions are there? Only one. Okay. And what kind of system is this? This is consistent independent. Take note of that section garnet. Okay? The second graph. Parallel lines. How many solutions are there? And what kind of system is this? Inconsistent. It's okay to write inconsistent lang. You don't need to write independent. That's fine. Inconsistent. Nagpasabot na siya. Independent all the time. Okay, let's have this one. Coinciding lines or coincident lines. How many solutions? Infinitely many. And what kind of system is this? Sorry. Consistent. Oh, consistent. Dependent. Okay. And let us now define system. A system is simply a group of linear equations in two variables. If you consider two or more equations as one, you call that a system of equations.